Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mod tutorial videos. In this video, we will evaluate the expression b squared minus 4ac and examine the roots of a quadratic equation. That is, we will analyze whether the roots of a quadratic equation are equal or unequal, real or imaginary, and rational or irrational. To know the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation, we will be using the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So yung discriminant nga pala is an important part of the quadratic formula. Siya yung nasa loob ng radical. And why is the discriminant important? The discriminant tells you the number and types of roots you will get. Okay, so ito yung mga dapat nating tandaan. So kung yung b squared minus 4ac natin ay equal sa 0, so yung roots na makukuha natin class ay real numbers and equal. Kapag naman, yung b squared minus 4ac natin ay positive and perfect square number, the roots are rational numbers and not equal. If b squared minus 4ac is positive but not perfect square number, the roots are irrational numbers and not equal. And if b squared minus 4ac is negative, no real roots or no solution. So, example number 1, find the nature of roots of the equation x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, step 1, write first the equation into a standard form. Since na standard form na yung given natin, proceed tayo sa step number 2. So, sa step number 2, identify the value of a, b, and c. The values of a, b, and c in the equation are 1, 4, and 3, respectively. Step 3 natin, substitute these values to b squared minus 4ac. Again, yung b squared minus 4ac natin class ay yung ating discriminant formula. And don't forget to use parentheses around the coefficient. So, magiging uh, quantity of 4 raised to the second power minus 4 times the quantity of 1 and quantity of 3. So, nahin na natin class yung the quantity of 4 raised to the second power is equal to 16 because 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Next is uh, minus 4 times 1 times 3 is equal to minus 12. And then, uh, 16 minus 12 is positive 4. Since b squared minus 4ac is positive and perfect square, the roots are rational numbers and not equal. At para ma-prove natin na kapag ang discriminant ay positive and perfect square ay meron siyang roots na rational and not equal, ay check natin gamit ang quadratic formula. So, so dito class, hindi ko na masyadong ituturo ang paggamit ng quadratic formula. Pero kung nalilito or nahihirapan pa din sa paggamit ng quadratic formula, I suggest na panoorin nyo yung step-by-step -step video tutorial ko sa pag-solve gamit ng quadratic formula. Dito, sinubstitute lang natin yung value ng A, B, and C sa quadratic formula. Okay, next. X is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 12 all over 2. Tapos, uh, subtract natin class yung uh, 12 sa 16. So, 16 minus 12 is 4. So, magiging negative 4 plus or minus square root of 4 all divided by 2. And square root of 4 is 2. Kaya magiging negative 4 
plus or minus 2 divided by 2. Pagkatapos, pag iwalay natin, so magkakaroon tayo class ng negative 4 plus 2 divided by 2 and negative 4 minus 2 divided by 2. And then, sagutan natin, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Tapos, sa kabila naman, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. As you can see, class, negative uh, 1 and negative 3 are real numbers, rational numbers, and not equal. So, example number 2, determine the nature of roots of the equation x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 9. So, let's write the equation into standard form. So, using addition property of equality, add both sides by 9. So, magiging x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. Then, step number 2, identify the value of a, b, and c. So, A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 6, and C is equal to 9. Next step, substitute to the discriminant formula B squared minus 4AC. Okay, so nahin natin class yung negative 6 raised to the second power. So, negative 6 times negative 6 is... 36 and then negative 4 times 1 times 9 is minus 36 and 36 minus 36 is 0 since b squared minus 4 ac is 0 the roots are real numbers and equal so check ulit natin okay so since x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0 is a perfect square trinomial so pwede natin siyang gawing square of binomial so magiging x minus 3 raised to the second power and the quantity of x minus 3 raised to the second power is also the quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x minus 3 is equal to 0 then apply natin yung zero product property so magiging x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0 then solve for x so x is equal to positive 3 and x is equal to positive 3 okay so kung makikita natin class tama pa rin na kapag ang discriminant natin ay 0 ang makukuha nating roots ay real numbers rational numbers and equal number 3 example determine the nature of roots of the equation x squared plus 3 is equal to negative 6x so again kunin natin yung standard form so x squared plus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0 then identify the value of a b and c so a is equal to 1 b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 3 and then gamitin ulit natin yung ating discriminant formula b squared minus 4ac so magiging the quantity of 6 raised to the second power minus 4 times the quantity of 1 times the quantity of 3 and the quantity of 6 raised to the second power is 36 then minus 4 times 1 times 3 is minus 12 and 36 minus 12 is equal to positive 24 and since b squared minus 4ac is positive but not perfect square the roots are irrational numbers and not equal pero syempre para ma-check talaga natin kung effective class yung discriminant I-check naman natin gamit ang completing the square. So, tingnan natin kung yung makukuha nating roots ay irrational numbers and not equal. 
Pero again class, so since uh, nagawan ko na rin ng uh, video itong completing the square, hindi ko na siya masyadong ituturo. So kung gusto nyo panuorin, uh, nandyan lang sa aking playlist. Okay, so una, ilipat lang natin yung constant term doon sa kanan. So magiging x squared plus 6x is equal to negative 3. And then, gawin natin perfect square trinomial. So, magiging x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to negative 3 plus 9. So, kung anong in natin dito sa kaliwa, i-add din natin sa kanan. Then, simplify natin. Magiging x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 6. And then, gawin natin square of binomial. So, x plus 3 raised to the second power is equal to 6. Then, kunin natin yung square root ng both side. Magiging x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus is square root of 6. Uh, tapos, kamitan natin ng subtraction property of equality para mailipat natin class yung plus 3. Subtract both sides by 3. So, magiging x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 6. Then, hiwalay natin class yung plus square root of 6 and minus square root of 6. Magiging x is equal to negative 3 plus square root of 6 and x is equal to negative 3 minus square root of 6. Ito class, makikita natin na yung roots na na-solve natin ay irrational numbers and not equal. Okay, last example. So, describe the roots of x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. Naka-standard form na. Kunin na lang natin yung value ng a, b, and c. So, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is 3. Then, yung ating discriminant formula, b squared minus 4ac. So, the quantity of 2 raised to the second power minus 4 times 1 times 3. So, 2 raised to the second power is 4. Then, minus 12. And 4 minus 12 is negative 8. So, since b squared minus 4ac is negative, then no real roots or no solutions. Paalala lang class, uh, hindi naman na talaga natin kailangan pang isolve yung roots ng uh, quadratic equation kapag pinadescribe sa atin yung roots. Kaya nga tayo merong uh, discriminant formula para makita natin kagad pag nasolve natin kung ano yung discriminant, alam na natin yung nature ng roots ng quadratic equation.